Hello everyone, welcome with me Adrian. Um, got Lloyd with me today. Uh, lovely little outfit on the table here. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. Uh, Lloyd's you may or may not have uh, spoken to. Uh, he's part of the business here at Optics Warehouse, quite an important part. Uh, you might well have seen him at the show. Uh, I've had the pleasure of working with Lloyd uh, previously many years ago. Uh, I'll introduce you Lloyd. Hello Lloyd. Hello Adrian. Um, just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, then we can get on to this nice outfit we've got on the table here, which uh, I'd like to own, but unfortunately it's yours. So yeah, it is, yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself and we'll get on to uh, your outfit on the table. Yeah, hi, hi guys. Um, like Adrian says, some of you would have met me at the shows, some of you spoke to me on the phone. Um, I am, I guess you would argue I'm second in command at Optics Warehouse. Some of you would have seen Sean in the videos at the shows. Um, I'm the next one down from Sean, um, so you could say that I am his boss. Um, Unfortunately. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so Adrian said the setup here, it is mine, uh, it's brand new to me. Um, we won't touch too much on the rifle, mod, etc, but we'll talk a little bit about um, the accessories that are on the rifle. Um, so, we... Well, you, you obviously, uh, we were talking earlier about um, big parts won't bore people but sales we've done plenty of videos and had plenty of chats on digital night vision thermal yeah. night vision what made you go for if you like an old school optical scope uh, yeah old school is probably the best way to, mm. to describe it I, I, I like um, digital scopes thermal scopes um, I think they're very good um, massive part of our business now um, but when it comes to doing some of the videos that we do there are well, there is a high volume of videos online for digital um, and thermal scopes and the idea is is to go for something that, that isn't digital um, and this is the scope that I chose um, to do that personal use. Yeah, to I do that reiterate this is Lloyd's own outfit this isn't um, you know, something we just put together on the table. This is Lloyd's personal outfit, brand new outfit. Yeah, yeah, not been fired yet. So it's interesting to get out of it. Do you, I, I, over, I mean, I've been here eight, nine years and the natural sway, if you like, trend, you know, I've, as I said in the past, we've had people take off Zeiss rifle scopes, you know, Swarovski rifle scopes to buy a 200 pound scope to put a, a night vision capable add-on onto the scope which is understandable to a degree but <laughs> madness in another way you know you're removing all that pure optical quality that you paid all that money for so you I guess obviously value being old school you know that's more than anything yeah I think so yeah and it, it, it allows me to do other bits outside of deer stalking the, the videos that will that will follow this will hopefully be deer stalking of some sort with In practical use with a um, a high end hunting scope um, that will hopefully show you guys um, it's not how good the it, light transmissions <clears throat> are in something yeah. like this. It's almost a forgotten trend. A good opt a good yeah, optical scope doesn't stop doing its job, does it? No, absolutely not. And <clears throat> like I said earlier, I think the the digital side, thermal side is very very good and it keeps getting better and better. But when you look at thermal, for example, at the moment, so for a high end thermal in say Hick, we'd be looking at around three thousand pounds. This is um, a Schmidt and Bender Polar T ninety six sub two thousand pounds. So you know they they are. Well, most people know they're extremely good scopes um, for money that isn't. Yes, it's expensive, but it's not. You know, it's not the it's north no, it's of north of three thousand no, pounds. No, no, you know, no, it's, no, not, not it's not ridiculous. Not amount. when you take you know, there's a you know a, a sort of middle middle of the range optical scope. I suppose is five hundred to twelve hundred ish quid. That's yeah. mid range. Yep. Um, and the other, uh, from uh, right or right or wrong, I'm sure you know people who debate it watching the video or otherwise. As good as the the digital and thermal stuff is nowadays, <clears throat> excuse me. They still, 
arguably struggle to a degree, even the top end stuff, which you've got to pay the money, especially in thermal, you know, once you start getting past that 150 yards, 200 you yards... start m ramping the magnification you, up. Magnification, your, your quality of image goes. Yep, absolutely, yeah. And, and they, as good as they are, they, they cannot, at a distance, as long as there's physical daylight for you to be able to use it, you cannot replicate that quality of image, can no. you? Absolutely you know. not, no. Um, and, and that was the other, one of the other reasons I wanted to go for it, is yeah, the digital thermal is very, very good, but exactly like you've just said, as soon as you start to ramp up past, I don't know, four, six magnification, your picture pixelates. It drops away, yeah, yeah absolutely. And, and again, I, you know, I think th there's a, <clears throat> a limit... Um, perhaps some people exceed sometimes on, you know, if you... <laughs> taken a shot perhaps you shouldn't or you're not sure because if that image drops away you know you've got to be 100 percent on that shot the minute you pull the trigger and there's only yep. one person responsible yep. um so going on to the scope then obviously it's a shooting bender as we know polar uh, polars have been synonymous over the years um schmidt and bender obviously is a world leader in optics um what made you go for a schmidt and bender just out of interest uh again a bit of old school um Quality. quality, sorry, quality, quality, yeah, quality, quality. <clears throat> um, yeah. I mean, it, it, it's a, it's a well-known name. I think it's a scope, rightly or wrongly. You a lot of big brand names, Miot, um, even Leupold, has kind of disappeared out of the UK. Whereas Schmidt seems to have maintained that. Yeah, you know, I think they went quiet for a while because um, some people, I think, they didn't have the range of there was no argument with the quality of the build, the optics, but what they didn't seem to do is move with the times reticle wise. You know, a lot of hours from the low end entry brand right the way up, everyone now produces one scope to do everything. It's got a parallax 10 yards, it's got to have a, a busy enough reticle for range use, but heavy enough and clear enough for hunting. Yep. It, and it's never going to excel at jack of all trades. And Schmidt have pretty much stood their ground, I think, and made a scope. You know, your 6 by 36s your high powers for your range work. You've got your 525s for everything in between and then the hunting range, yep. like the Polars for, you know, that, that proper hunting yeah. discipline. Yeah. But still maintaining, you know, uh, that's the reticle P4 fine, did we say on that yep. one? Correct, yes. Um, so you've got second focal plane. Second well. focal plane. Yep. So you've got no visual references. But again, you know, for a hunting outfit, uh, within reason, I don't know what you've chosen. What calibre is that one? Uh, 6.5 6.5 yeah. so you know uh, nothing's changed over the years you choose your zero range and then it's field craft yeah. you know with regards windage hold over hold under for for varying ranges so and light transmission on these is minimum of 96 percent yeah there you go, so which i think so. they say what the human eye could perceive 93 or something like two percent yeah. so it is yeah. better than the human eye yeah yeah um and you've got the asv turret on it as well yep so again, um, you know, that will give you the option to uh, obviously dial out zero stop on that one. Zero right? stop as well, yeah. 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 So obviously once you're zeroed it, you can dial out, you know, learn your ranges. So I'm sure you'll enjoy looking for that one. And we got Rusan mounts on that one. Yeah, Rusan mounts <laughs> and uh, Delta... Um, Spartans. Spartan, sorry, Spartan Javelin tactical... Um, bipod. Bipod as well, which... <clears throat> Um, well, we had a couple of options on that, and when we had a chat, didn't we, we was when I, when I was deciding which one to go for, um, doing it with Adrian, and we looked at a couple of different options. We looked at Acutac, too heavy, too bulky, yeah, too tactical. Yeah, exactly that didn't really fit the fore end right. No, so no. The, the 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 Spartan kind of just, I think, suits the rifle. Um, Absolutely. I mean, you know, I think in terms of neatness. Um, and it's always quick release comes straight off. It does, yeah, it's magnetic. Yeah. Which I quite like that. Um, you know, so it's all little features like that. You've got to remember this is a predominantly this is a hunting outfit. You know, foxing, stalking, uh, whatever may come along. Um, but I think it all sits on there very well. Um, obviously, again, all the Spartan, the mounts, the scope. Yes, they're all on our website. Go and have a look. Um, you know, really, really good quality outfit. Genuinely though, um, this isn't. A sale for those three things. This is Lloyd's outfit, so like I said, hopefully we we'll have some videos coming up. We will, with, yeah. We've did this as well. So we've, I'll be going out with somebody that I know. Um, it's like trigger cam. Trigger cam, yeah. So what we'll be doing? I'll be going out with Stu, 
Um, he'll be going out at the moment. He's got um, a Stella and an Alpex. Um, so what we'll probably do is go out together. I'll have this, he'll have his, um, and we'll do some comparisons when it gets to low light. Um, and we'll use the trigger cam to be able to show that off. And again, I think it's quite interesting because the, if you like, again, the old school optical scope has kind of been left behind. <clears throat> I'll be quite interested to see this because I think it'll be quite an eye opener. You know, people are so used to the digital market now and how good it is, yep. but they forgot how good this can be. Optical scopes are. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah. No, I think that'll be great. And um, obviously we've got the Game Fair coming up as well. Yep, Game Fair <laughs> is two weeks. Just over, just over two weeks away. Yeah, so we're currently getting everything ready for that. Um, You'll be there? I'll be there, okay. yeah, uh, along with a couple of other lads. Um, and we will have some of these scopes of us. Um, so, um, yeah, come along and see us. Obviously, the Schmidt range, as big as Optics Warehouse are, it, it's massive. There's such a diverse range of scopes. Um, we sort of cherry-pick, if you like, you know, try and keep here what we know are going to be the... the popular ones um, but there is a, a vast vast array of Schmidt scopes there so always you know have a look at the website give us a call uh, it's an email away to find out you know if there's a specific model we don't don't have in stock we could soon find out for you um, but certainly go and have a look um, so that's been really good talking to you Lloyd um, look forward to the videos and look yeah, forward to the video. yeah keep, keep an eye out on the um, website because hopefully there'll be some good videos there see you soon